Hey guys, it is December 3rd and it is Saturday and we're going to get started with AdSense. Um, I have a very busy day today. Um, I need to do some housework, a lot of housework, work on Mary Kay, um, and I have to go shopping for the presents for the person that I picked who I am their secret Santa for tomorrow. So. Let's get into this, shall we? Yes, I'm in the same clothes as yesterday. I slept in them, okay? I was too tired and I didn't feel like putting pajamas on. Don't come for me, okay? They are comfortable. And besides, when I spend Thanksgiving night at my grandparents, I have pajamas. Did I change into them? No. No. I, I fell asleep in my clothes. So, yeah. Uh, let's get it. Ooh. Knocking over the camera. Oh my goodness. Let's find day three. Where is day three? Aha! Hopefully you guys can see it otherwise. Day three is right here. Okay. Cooperate, right? Yeah. Right here. Right here it is. So, I'm going to pull it up. <laughs> I'm never like not going to make a joke. Oh, it is green this time. Okay, yay! Ooh, it's winter pine and eucalyptus. Ah, don't know what it smells like. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, winter pine and eucalyptus. Uh, aromatic, woody, and pine. So. Not sure why it has eucalyptus if it doesn't have eucalyptus in it. Is that supposed to be the aromatic? I'm so confused. So confused. Um, but yeah, it's a green candle and I'm excited. So I'm going to eat breakfast, charge my vlog batteries because they're about to, all about to die. And that'll give me a chance to shower and change clothes and get some housework done and get my day started. So, um, yeah, so that was today's advent and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's a little later. Um, I showered and I'm in different clothes. Um, I got a little bit of stuff done on my list so far, like half my list is done, as you can see. Um, am I going to get everything on my list done? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. The two main things, big things that I wanted to get done today were, are not going to get done today. But, oh wow. Um, but, um, I'm about to leave shortly to go by my grandparents slash my mom. And my mom and I are going to go to Walmart and she's going to help me smell candles. Um, to pick out for my Secret Santa gift for tomorrow to give to the person whom I'm their Secret Santa. So, um, I'm like a thousand percent positive she's not watching this because I don't think she's aware that I have a YouTube channel and that's okay. Um, but yeah, so... And I have to get other things for her gift to, for tomorrow, so, um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, I'm going to finish getting ready, and then we're going to go, and then tonight, eee! I'm not going to be able to vlog, but tonight I am going to Scare USA again. Um, they're doing a Christmas haunted house, but it's blackout. Um, I didn't get to go to the ha to the Halloween blackout, but I heard it was a lot of fun. I heard they don't scare you as much because, like, I was terrified to go to blackout um, after going to uh, Scary USA for the regular normal haunted house. Um, I was terrified. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. Uh, no. Nope, but my coworker said that they don't scare you as much because you're already in the dark 
and they do give you a glow stick to help you see your way through. Uh, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm prepared to sacrifice virgins again. Like, I am prepared. Like, yes. Um... I'm not afraid of the dark. I will say that I'm not afraid of the dark. However, knowing that I could potentially get scared or get lost or walk into things, I'm, I, no, um, not a fan of that. Um, but here we are. I'm going. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, I don't know what it's going to be like, so it's going to be interesting. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be able to really, obviously, like, I'm not going to be able to vlog later, but I will have vloggy with me so I can, like, let you know, like, how it went, um, or I might just wait till I get home because I'm going to be with my, um, co-worker. I'm pretty sure we're probably going to be driving back into town together because there's six of us going, so the other... Two people are going to be going with her friends, which one of her friends I know from my past. <sighs> yeah. Um, I guess you could call him a friend. I, I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, it's not weird because I'm over it. I, yeah. Anyways. That being besides the point, I'm going to get ready because I have, like, limited time and all the things. And I need to put air in my tire. And it's cold AF outside. And I don't want to. But I need to. <sighs> so, yeah. So, getting things done. Not necessarily everything that I wanted to get done today. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going to be limited more time ish because dinner is at five piece of ranch so it was supposed to be texas roadhouse because i know i like mentioned that in a previous vlog it was supposed to be texas roadhouse but because of the amount of us that are going to be there they cannot accommodate us so we're going to piece of ranch instead so i will have the private room so that'll be fun and that'll be interesting so because i think there's like Ten, if not more of us going. <sighs> but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to figure out. I, I, I have an inkling of who it could be. But I'm also like not quite sure anymore. Because I don't, I don't know. There's two people that I think it is. But I'm not sure who. I'm kind of hoping it's the co-worker I'm going to the thing tonight with. Because her and I are like chaos when we're together but like honestly I was manifesting that we would have gotten each other and we didn't unfortunately or at least I didn't get her um I don't know who got her some of us have already figured out who our secret Santa is um and some of us have not I have two ideas of who it could be but I could be wrong um I, I don't I, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the gift tomorrow might might determine um might determine we'll we'll see I might wear my Sebastian Stanley rings tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know because. <laughs> I, I I don't know why that thought came across my no I know why that thought came across my head but I also like yeah I don't wear those earrings very often um just because I don't want to lose them so <sighs> they're my prize and joy my my sacred possession like I will cry if I lose them <laughs> I only paid like seven dollars for them in Atlanta, Georgia at the Fandemic Tour Con. Oh, speaking of which, okay, I mentioned this um, a while back ago in a vlog and then I didn't post it. So I'm going to mention it here. I am planning 
to go right now I'm planning on going it's, it's not a if it's not a maybe it's I am planning on going because I am manifesting people that be, are gonna be there I'm manifesting it okay I'm fucking manifesting okay um so I'm planning on going to gosh, stupid hair I'm planning on going to Atlanta Georgia again this year not in March in February so last week in February um the Atlanticon and Femdemic Tour are combining um, kind of like, I guess, earlier this year, um, the Fan Dead and Fandemic Tour combined because, like, that's why the Fandemic Tour was so heavily um, The Walking Dead because it was supposed to be, like, a Walking Dead dead centered convention and then they combined it with another convention um which is cool great awesome amazing um but i am manifesting for a certain celebrity to be there also some other celebrities and whether this one in particular celebrity is not going to be there um but there are other celebrities there i still do plan on going i have not bought tickets yet because i am still waiting for the full guest list full guest list to come out they're slowly but surely putting out the guest list it's like one guest a week now and unfortunately when they first started making the announcements about the guests they had like four or five guests in one announcement and one of them happened to be jason david frank aka tommy from the power rangers i hope i said his name correctly um he was supposed to be there and I was like yes the White Ranger um but then obviously unfortunately the unfortunate new the unfortunate news came out about that um he unfortunately will not be there or at any other conventions anymore which is sad he was at the pandemic tour one in March this this year and I would have loved to have meet and meet, meet and what? I would have loved to have met him. But like, he's changed. Like, obviously, like I'm, I'm aware like people change and you know, they don't look the same as they did back in the nineties. I get that, okay? Except for me, I still pretty much look the same as I did back in fucking kindergarten. It's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> um, I must have the fountain of youth <laughs> in my in my veins. I don't know. Um, but you know, he he didn't look the same, and so like he wasn't. And also, I didn't have the money to see him, so I spent all my money in parch <laughs> that I did not have to see a certain celebrity. And then he canceled after, and I find out after I had driven all the way there the day before the convention started. Um, but this time I'm planning on flying. I've already been uh, comparing flight costs. Um, I want to stay at a hotel a lot closer to the convention so that I can walk to and from the convention. And then I would just have to take an Uber to and from the airport which is fine it's not a big deal um so i'm already planning for that and whatnot and been looking at hotels and how much it would cost for the x amount of time for the x amount of like time that i would be staying um and seeing how much it would cost as of right now so i've been kind of like ever so often rechecking to see um it looks like if I were to fly, I'm going to be flying Delta. Um, because I don't... I've never flown, like, completely by myself before. So, I've never done connecting flights. Um, so, until I get more used to flying on my own, like, completely by myself, um, I want to stay away from connecting flights if at all possible um and like so when you're booking a flight it'll usually tell you if it's like 
a full flight or if you have to like take a connecting flight. So Southwest, they only had like one flight to uh, Atlanta, Georgia and one flight back from Atlanta, Georgia. That was nonstop. Um, and it was cheaper, but you know, depending on the you know the time frame, like, cause I don't know like how connecting flights work if your initial flight gets delayed, cause that's my biggest thing. Cause I know when I flew to New York my senior year for the choir trip that Rachel and I talked about on my channel. It was a very long video, but definitely check it out. I'll put it up here somewhere. Um, I know that flights can get delayed. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't remember if our flight going to New York was slightly delayed, but our flight coming home was delayed. Um, we didn't have a connecting flight either for to and from, um, which helped, but I don't know. So if any of you have like flying experience with connecting flights, if your first flight gets can't like gets delayed, do you still get a connecting flight or is it then like a full on thing? Or do they cancel your flight completely and get a refund or they try to like put you on a different flight? I don't know how that works. So if any of you you watching the video watching this vlog um, have experience flying, please put your expertise down in the comment section below because I would love to learn. So um I mean, I could Google it, but like, you know, I, you know, it's, sometimes you can't, you can't trust Google, you know, um, I did look at Amtrak, um, just out of curiosity, and they don't have any trains going out for the period of time that I am, that I would be traveling, so, because I would, I would, be traveling the day before, so that Thursday, because it's Friday through Sunday. So I would travel Thursday, and then as of right now, until I know more information about schedule, about the schedule of everything, and the itinerary, all that stuff, as of right now, I'm looking to come home Sunday, that weekend. But depending on who's going to be there and the schedule of everything, I might not come home till Monday. It all just depends. Right now they're slowly but surely giving us information and I am impatient and I'm not the only one. This is my first time coming across a convention like this from the very beginning before they start announcing um, guests and everything and whatnot. So this, I'm new to this part of this experience of learning about it, um, but they're going very slow. You know, like y'all got like three months now, like three full months before your convention and you have people anxious, anxiously waiting to buy tickets and their tickets right now are on sale for a limited time, but nobody, I don't think anyone has actually bought any tickets yet because they don't know who's going to be there aside from the people that they've already announced, which is like seven, eight people since mid-November. Like, I think November 14th or November 15th was when they first started to announce. So, I know it hasn't been a full month yet since they started to announce, but, you know, they put the tickets on sale for the early bird special before they started to announce the guests. Like, I would have waited to put the tickets on sale until, or have any, like, pricing, like, any like 
ticket to get in or anything like that. I would have waited to have all of that until you had like a good amount of guests announced and then post not only the tickets to get in and the VIP ticket, but photo op tickets and autograph tickets. I would have waited to post all of that after a fairly good amount of guests have been announced and then put the tickets on sale because if you're gonna do a sale because nobody even for the price that they are at right now on sale with tax because obviously they're still gonna add tax so for the price that it is and then adding tax you know with the because of the special the deal that they have going on it's a good a good price for VIP tickets for all three days because it includes all three days and other stuff within those three days. So, which is great, but as much as I would like to spend that money to make sure that I can go, I also, as of right now, out of the guests that have been announced, there's nobody I want to see, so I'm not going to spend my money until I know there's at least one celebrity that I want to see I meet. So, I'm holding off, and I'm not the only one that wants the specific actor, celebrity to be there, who was supposed to be there in March and canceled. I am not the only one who wants him to be there. Although I don't know if he's going to be because Sharper comes out around that time and he will probably be doing press for it. And I'm pretty sure you probably figured out who I'm talking about. But like, who else would I be talking about? I mean, besides Jenna Sadako. <laughs> Dude, I would riot if both of them were there. I would question, I, I would I would have to look deep within myself and be like, what do I need to do to be able to make sure I can go to see both of these men and get pictures and autographs with them? Like, I, I would have to ask myself, what would you do to be able to like solidify me being able to afford to go? <laughs> already asking myself that <laughs> so so yeah so I'm I'm gonna just leave it on that um but that's one of the reasons why I am excited that my third certification book is turned in and I can shift my energy and shift my gears into getting other things done that have been kind of put off to the side um, to do so so that way I can make a space to motivate myself inspire myself remind myself of what it is that I'm working towards and to be able to actually focus and be like okay this is all done now this is taken care of I have a space now for this let's get to work like i'm not saying that i'm not going to still work on my youtube channel or work on mary Kay until that space has been created and everything else leading up to me being, being able to create that space is done i'm not thinking that i'm not going to do that because then obviously we wouldn't have vlogmas right i'm still going to do that but i'm also going to you know make sure that the stuff leading up to the space is taken care of as well because it needs to be i am sick and tired of this so not not this but i mean just in general like how my space looks how my apartment looks i hate it i absolutely hate it and i need to go through stuff and get rid of stuff and organize and clean so not saying that my mess 
my apartment is a mess. I just have a lot of stuff and I do but don't have a place for stuff. So I have to go through stuff and get rid of stuff while I'm cleaning or clean and then and organize and then work on purging and organizing. You might think, oh, well, why wouldn't you go through stuff? Because that would require me to actually, like, take more time to do that. And it's like, I would rather do the cleaning and the organizing first, kind of purge what I can, where I can, and then get my space organized and take care of and do that. And then I can take, like, a weekend to just focus on purging and going through stuff and really like do I need this do I use this do I want this um so that is the the gist of it really so that's how my brain is working right now because right now I'm focused on wanting to get the table put together but in order to put the table together I need to clean up my room and my closet so that I can get my Halloween stuff that I've bought from a flea market and thrift stores put away and get that toe in my closet or back into my closet because it was a tote being used for my poop emoji beanbag chair. RIP to that because I got it. And yeah, so, um, And it's like, because the box that the table is in is in the way. It's in the way. And I'm tired of moving it and sliding it back and forth to be able to get through the areas that I need to get through on either side of the table. So, yeah. And that way too, um, again, the space can be created and then I can kind of organize and get situated. And... All that jazz so that being said I am going to finish getting ready so I can go by my mom slash my grandma's we can go to Walmart and then I can eat supper and then I can go meet my co-worker and we can go to scary USA and hope that I don't get the piss scared out of me <sighs> yeah so yeah. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, what is up? It is December 4th on Sunday. I did not vlog anything after <laughs> I did yesterday. Um, just because I was trying to get housework done. Um, and then I went over to my grandma's slash my mom's and tried on a Christmas present to make sure it fit. And then uh, um, I went to the haunted house. Um... It wasn't as scary. I had a couple moments where I got scared. Um, but it was still a lot of fun. They had somebody dressed up as the Grinch. And the Grinch was taking my light up crown. I don't know where it is. I think it's on the couch somewhere. If I find it later, I'll show you guys. Um, but we we got a stocking for a group. Because they will like give you, a, give you presents and stuff. Things, little trinkets and stuff. Uh, there was supposed to be some wrapped presents all throughout the thing, um, but we couldn't find any. Um, and it was supposed to be, it was supposed to be blackout, and it was pretty dark, but I probably could have gone through with just having my crown light on rather than using the flashlight that they gave us, which wasn't really a flashlight because they, like, sharpied out the thing, so, like, it wasn't as bright um but yeah so my battery's about to die let me change that and then we'll talk more <laughs> um but yeah it was a lot of fun um i didn't get home till 3 30 last night because after we were done at the haunted house we came back to town and then My coworker and I, we went gallivanting all over. Um, so I have to put gas in my car today. Otherwise, I ain't going anywhere. And I need to go to Walmart. And I have to go to Pizzeria today at 5. 
So I have a lot of stuff I need to get done today before I go to Pizza Ranch. Um, some stuff I can do when I come home, but like, I want to get the bulk of it done. Um, stuff. So yeah, I'm currently making coffee and I'm about to heat up some leftover homemade hamburger helper that I made last week for lunch. Um, so it doesn't go to waste. Um, but we're gonna open up Ugh. day four of Advent. Yeah. Um, I'm very excited. Wednesday, I have off Wednesday as of right now. Um, so I'm gonna be taking whatever candles I've already opened from in here and I'm gonna bring them with me to my grandparents and I'll have my mom smell them. And she can say, like, off-camera whether she likes the smell or not. So, um, whether they smell good or not. I might have my grandma smell them, too. I mean, she'll probably want to smell them, but I don't know if she'll want her voice to be on camera. So, because my mom's, my mom's voice has been on camera a little bit when I was vlogging in the past. So... Okay. <sighs> Ha! Day four is. Ugh. Day four is right here. So. Ooh, it's a purple candle. It's purple. Hot toddy. Hot toddy. Body yaddy yaddy yaddy. Had to. It's purple. Can't smell. Can't smell. Okay. Hot toddy. Where are you on here? Here, here we go. So it has apple, cake, cinnamon, and raspberry flavors. So I feel like that would be a good smelling candle. I mean, I'm not saying that none of these are good smelling candles, but you know, some people like, like certain scents and some people don't. So, um, so yeah, so that's exciting. It's very, very exciting. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but once I am done, with this advent calendar at the end of the month and I use all these candles I'm going to repurpose this advent calendar because I think it's really cool um I might reuse it for like um future like makeshift advent calendars or for like a fun I don't know. I'm, I'm going to repurpose it and keep it and reuse it because I really like this um, and stuff. So I figured too for my Mary Kay business, like it would be a fun thing to incorporate into my business to make it fun. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go so I can finish making my coffee and heat up some lunch so I can eat and then I'm gonna make my to-do list and then I'm gonna get started for the day because I literally just woke up like an hour ago so because I didn't get home till 3 30 this morning so I will see you guys later okay guys so it is Later, uh, Heather and I just left the work Christmas party and not all of us showed up so not everybody got their gifts but I got my gift and she got me and it's the gifts that I got you guys I'll have to show you guys later because right now I'm in my car um, we're picking up one of her other friends whom we hung out with last night for a bit we're gonna hang out for a bit hopefully not very long because uh, I didn't go to bed. I didn't get home and go to bed till like 3 30 this morning, and I have to work tomorrow at 7 30. So, and even Heather agreed, like, we're not going to be out horribly late today. So, um, but I got a Sebastian's damn blanket. 
Um, so I'll have to show you guys later. And then I got another bottle of nail polish and another chapstick. So the person that I had, whom I was her secret, the, the person that I was Secret Santa for wasn't there, unfortunately. Um, and she's actually out, so on maternity leave. So I'm gonna have to talk to our boss to find out um, if she can find out when she's gonna come because she had one of, you know, she was also somebody's Secret Santa, so like, um, I don't know if she got all of. I don't know if the person she got got all her stuff, but I will have to give her her week's worth of goodies and her big goodie thing. So, but yeah, so, um, I am full, I'm tired, I'm not getting anything done today. <laughs> Literally, it's, you know what, it's, I'm frustrated about it, but I'm not mad about it. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna go, because they're coming. And I will show you the guys. I will show you guys the blanket when I get home. So.